What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. I know for the last few weekends we haven't really been pushing out a lot of gameplay on the weekends, but uh, I thought I'd, you know, give it a shot this time. Um, it's not been too busy of a weekend, so I thought I'd capitalize on that. Um, today we are trying out Cat Tribal. Uh, so this is really, really an interesting take on it. Uh, this is a Bant version of this list technically. Um, and you'll see kind of why uh, as we go through, but it is also a Kahira deck, which does make a lot of sense. Obviously, it's a Cat Lord, and we do run actually the full four uh, versions of Kahira, so uh, very, very happy to see that. And we've actually got quite a number of cards here from the new set, which I think is uh, really, really interesting. So the first one here is actually Primal Might, uh, which... I, I never really... I kind of glossed over this card, if I'm going to be honest. It looked like just a glorified combat trick, uh, but... It's not a combat trick at all. It's a sorcery, so it couldn't be. Uh, it's X and a green. Target creature you control gets plus X, plus X until the end of the turn, and then fights up to one creature you don't control. So this really is just a removal spell uh, for this deck. Ideally, you're going to have a lot of creatures out, so it's going to be really easy to do that. Uh, it's also just a really nice pump spell, so it can win you the game very, very quickly as well. Uh, in the two drop slot here, we actually see Skycat Sovereign, uh, which is one of the, the cards that we're splashing blue here for. And this is a really nice card. Uh, it is a cat, so it gets buffed, uh, but it gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with flying and then can spit out its own uh, cat bird tokens, which is kind of awesome uh, considering how many lords and how many uh, lord effects we have in this deck. Uh, so really, really excited to try this out. Bronzehide Lion is kind of the, uh, what was the, it was a two mana lion like this, um, oh, I can't remember, but it was essentially a, uh, a Selesnya lion that got like hexproof and indestructible if you monstrous it or something like that back in the old Theros days. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three for two, great, great on the face of it. Uh, you can pay two and give it indestructible until the end of the turn, and then uh, when it dies, return it to the battlefield. Uh, it's an aura enchantment with enchant creature you control has pay two, and it gets indestructible until the end of the turn. Uh, it does lose all other abilities, though, so worth noting. Um, another card we have here for blue is Grow Spiral, so this is just a way to help ramp us and get us to maybe a bigger Primal Might or get us up to one of our higher drops here. Uh, really, really just efficient card. Uh, great to be able to leave up uh, any time, really. Uh, Feline Sovereign is, of course, another new card from um, the uh, Corset 2021. Uh, other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have protection from dogs, which is just kind of a nice little stab in the against uh, the dog decks. Uh, whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Uh, that I find to be actually very, very nice. I think there's going to be a lot of situations where that can be helpful. Uh, we've already talked about Kahira, just essentially a lord and gives vigilance to all of our stuff. Uh, Icon of Ancestry as a three of here, uh, but does essentially act as a lord and give us a way to search out more cards. We don't have a ton of card draw in this deck, uh, and so Icon of Ancestry is a really, really good way to be able to pull out uh, cats from the top of our deck. Uh, we do have um, two Ajani the Great Hearted. Uh, creatures you control have Vigilance, five loyalty, uh, four mana Planeswalker. Pay one, uh, or excuse me, plus one, and you gain three life, which is pretty good. Uh, minus two, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each other Planeswalker you control. Um, really, the plus one, plus one counter is just there to be able to finish out the game as quickly as possible. Depending on the matchup, we may start to gain the life, but ideally, it's just going to be a finisher. Um... The uh, front, Frondland Felidar, I uh, hope I'm saying that correctly, uh, beautiful card, 3-5 for 4, it does have Vigilance, and creatures you control with Vigilance have pay 1, tap it, and tap target creature. Um, as you can tell, we've got this, and we've got Kahira to give these cards Vigilance, all of our creatures Vigilance. Uh, giving them Vigilance means that they all get this ability, uh, which is pretty amazing, actually, uh, because you can just kind of out-tap and then start swinging in, so very, very good. Uh, two, Elspeth Conquers Death here as a way to deal with higher end threats. Uh, and then Flower and Flourish here um, can be used as a finisher on the flourish, flourish side, excuse me, uh, but can also just be used to pull out a land from your deck. Now, as far as the lands go, we do run 24, uh, 2, 2, and 3 uh, as far as the basics go. 
all the play sets of the shocks, which makes sense. One Temple of Plenty, and then four Fable Passage, and the list I pulled apparently has two from different uh, sets, which I don't like. So that's the deck. I have not tried it yet. We're going to test it out, um, and I'm excited about this one. I think this is really, really fun. I think um, when the cats and dogs were spoiled, a lot of people were like, oh, we got to build with this. We got to build with this, and while I agree, because uh, I think that's fun, um, I don't know how good they actually are, and so this is kind of my first test at seeing how good they are. We'll see. Uh, good old coffee in the morning. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I know we're about to start a new week, and unfortunately that means work for a lot of us and that kind of thing, but hopefully you're enjoying your time. Uh, let's see. Got a lot. Of, well, I say a lot. We've got a couple three drops here. Um, I'm going to keep it, though. Uh, I do think that this is perfectly fine, and we'll just we'll just lead on that. Won't be too crazy. Um, I'm trying to think what the best um, best option is here. Uh, let's do this. I'm actually going to deck thin a little bit here. <clears throat> um, I do think it's worth it to deck thin a little bit. Now we do have fabled passages that are going to be able to help do that for us, and we could have actually used one there, which might have been better, but. We will see. Uh, looks like we could be against a very similar deck here. Uh, let's do this. And we'll just drop the feline first. Um, I think I'd lean on this first just in general. I think that's a better play. Oh, cool. Um, we played a deck that featured uh, Joel Rael very recently. Uh, and I really liked it, actually. It was one of my favorites of this time. Um... Primal Might might actually be worthwhile here. Let's see. So, we can use this and kill... We can just straight kill something here, which I think is kind of worth it. Um, let's do this. Target creature we control. Uh, and let's actually get rid of the Jol Rael. Um, just makes it a little bit trickier for them to keep getting extra value. Uh, and we'll attack in here. Um, chances are, yeah, they're not going to block it, and that's fine. <clears throat> um, but that gets us in for a good bit of damage. It also gets rid of one of their creatures there, which is good. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Um, so what's our play next turn? We have Icon of Ancestry. We can just play that. It's very dependent on what we draw, obviously, but we'll see. Sure. <clears throat> This icon does give us the attack, uh, if we'd like it, uh, which is definitely interesting. They can also just eat um, Jol Rael. Sure. Oh, another one. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well... Yeah, I think we do this. Um, let's go ahead and scry here. We'll put that on the bottom. We've got plenty of land, and Fabled Passage in particular is very helpful for us. Um, I'm just going to attack them. If they decide to block, that's fine. Cool. Um, I think it's right to attack them because their life total is much more precarious than Nyssa. Um, and so I, I'm guessing that that's the right play. That might be incorrect. I don't know. I just realized the username of the other player, Porkbelly91. Into it. <laughs> that's funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, just want to mention, um, I believe I put a Patreon ad at the start of this video. Uh, I just want to say that if you're interested in signing up for Patreon, we, of course, really appreciate it. Um, don't feel like you have to by any means, but if you'd like to, that's a great way to support our channel. Um, we really appreciate everybody who uh, bring that to our hand, and then we'll just go ahead and play it here. Um, now, this does mean we can't really attack because of Hydroid Crisis, but um, we do have a pretty strong board right now. Um, but anyway, so... 
we do have really awesome new stuff going on with Patreon. If you're interested in getting some past uh, proxy stuff, um, we, we have tiers available for that now. We have one dedicated just to past proxies, and then we have one that's kind of dedicated to everything. So if you're interested in getting not only past proxies, but also proxies um, from uh, this newest... Uh, let's do this. We'll see what they do. Also, proxies from... Um, you know, this month, obviously, you can pick those up. So just a suggestion, if you'd like to check those out, I'd, of course, really appreciate it. Um, I know it uh, it does help a lot, so we would certainly appreciate the support. Um, that was very interesting. I'm surprised they have sweepers in a deck like this, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this. <clears throat> let's get this here. Uh, let's go ahead and play this, which is actually very, very good right now. Um, I'm not going to use the Primal Might. Uh, I don't think we need to yet. I think next turn is going to be the ideal turn for it, though. Um, I love that they have the, the creature land. That's cool. Beautiful lands. Look at these. These Godzilla art lands. Oh, so good. Hmm. Let's see what they do. It's actually really bad for us because this is difficult to actually deal with, uh, mostly because it activates on their or on our turn. Um, don't really like that, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. They did not ultimate. Okay. Let's go ahead and just deck thin really quick. So now Primal Might seems worse, uh, solely because they can deal with it here. Um, hmm. What do we do? I'm going to play this out first. Let's see if they activate to Fairy. They don't. Um, then what I am going to do... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. This gives us just enough to do this, and now they can phase this out if they'd like. Um, but they don't get actually they don't get rid of this threat, which I think is important. Okay. Uh, whoops. Cancel. No. Uh, let's attack in here. I am gonna. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna attack to fairy. We'll see. They're gonna plus or minus in response, and that's fine. Yep. Uh. Let's see. What do we want to do? Probably just activate this in response. Um. This is an interesting matchup. That's a good one. Okay. Well. Fair enough. Teferi is super, super good. <clears throat> Essentially treat it as though it didn't exist uh, until the next turn. That's so interesting. Um, phasing out is a really interesting mechanic. It's not something that uh, has... I think Teferi's protection has been the last one that we really saw. Okay. That's actually okay. It's not great, but it's like not the worst thing. Yeah, you got it. Um, hopefully, we can take Nissa out next turn, so that way they're not making any more of these indestructible 3-3s, three but um, they do now have just a ton of land, and chances are another Nissa at some point is going to be coming down. So, yeah, nice. Very, very good. Sorry for the frame rates, by the way. I'm realizing they're dropping a little bit as we go through this, but... Tasty. All right. Yeah, you got it. They had a free attack there. I'm a little surprised they didn't take it, but that's fine. Um, all right, let's do this. Yep. Uh, also, the correct thing is actually, I think, to get rid of the Elspeth Conqueror's death. Uh, well, no. We get rid of Teferi. It exiles it. 
Uh, we'll play the feline. Uh, and we'll do the- well, there's no point, is there? Get rid of Nyssa. This- they can bring Nyssa back with Elspeth Conqueror's death, so, like, that's not great for us, but... Uh, I assume with ours we're supposed to get Kahira, right? It does give ev everything Vigilance, which just means we have Tappers for days. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, you got it. They have got a very- yeah, there we go. That's what I was a little worried about. Now, we can just start throwing out little, you know, tutus, essentially. So, worth noting that we've got the mana to do that. Um, and that boosts the attack of this, so there's a lot of pluses to doing that. Uh, especially if we brick, which is a possibility. We will see. We will see, we will see. Sorry for the frame rates. I know they're terrible. We're, we're plowing through. We're gonna do the best we can here. Um, chances are we're gonna lose. I don't know that we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of chances here, but we'll see. Let's throw this down. Let's go ahead and activate this. Uh, that does leave this up. Um, mm. Bad shape. Very bad shape. Uh, like, I think we just lose next turn. I want to say no attacks, but I think we just lose. Um, we don't necessarily lose right away, but they're going to get good stuff back here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede, um, mostly because the frame rates are bad, and I think we've already lost, so that's okay. Uh, we did put up a fight, though, I will say. Um, and I think, uh, given some better land plays on my end, we might not have... Not that we got excessively flooded by any means, but we might have done a little better in that front. Um, that might have been... We had Fabled Passages in the beginning that we could have started searching for, or deck thinning a little bit sooner. Um, that might have been helpful, but... You never know. It's speculation. Um, I don't think we played excessively badly that time, but uh, that was definitely a difficult matchup for sure. Oh, let's see. We'll keep... Um, we're going to fetch a green source with the Fable Passage turn one. Mostly because we kind of have to. <laughs> um, looks like they mulligan down. What? That is not at all what I expect. Um, out of a standard deck. It's just Death Touch Tribal. <laughs> that is a thing right now, I will say. Um, but, but it runs black, <laughs> I will say, also. So, But, hey, maybe they've got it. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's just do this, and I'm gonna pass. This might make them think that we have, like, Simic Flash or something. What in the world is this deck? This is so strange to me. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, grow spiral here. Go ahead and put this down. Um, so what's our play? Oh, that's good. The good card. Um, what is our play? Uh, I might just get Hira. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, it's not super mana efficient. Like we could play a Johnny here, but. A Johnny doesn't really do much against this, it just dies. Um, this at least can, you know, trade off or something. This is, I think, jank, <laughs> I think is the right word. I'm not gonna block that. Uh, we can fight that off if we'd like. We're just Elspeth Conquers Death it. Um, do we just Elspeth Conquers Death? Or do we just do this and then. Hmm. I don't know what the right play is, actually. Uh, let's Elspeth Conquer's death. Again, this might be incorrect. I don't know. But that's fine. Um, and I'm actually going to attack in. If they want to block, that's fine. Okay. Uh, that's perfectly fine. We've got plenty of backup Kahiras. <laughs> um, we can only play one at a time, so. Nice. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to play another Kahira and I'm going to fight this off. I th 
think is the right play. This does mean, I mean, we die too here, but... I mean, we're going to get a Kahira back next turn, and then we get to play Feline Sovereign or a Johnny and just kind of go for it. If it's just mono green stuff, it's fine. It's just different. Um, let's get this. Plus one, plus one. All right, so... Um, do kind of want to get some life gain going, but uh, if we do this, we can actually get a couple extra things down. So let's let's just do this. That's a pretty good board. Not amazing. Sorry for the frame rates again. I know it's bad. Um, network issues on the op usually it's on the opponents end that causes us frame rate issues, which is really a struggle. Um, I hate that, but it is what it is. Wow, that's good. They could get a counter. Sure. Interesting, interesting. Um, should I do this? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Um... I don't know how correct this is, but if they attack him, we probably are just supposed to block. Uh, kind of sucks because this I, I did not leave up enough to go indestructible with the bronze side lion, um, but they are out of stuff now, so that's worth noting. Looks like they're not going to do anything. Um, and I'm definitely just going to do that. Let's throw that down. I wish so much that we could this was instant speed um unfortunately it is not which does make it quite difficult um let's just go ahead and bring this to our hand uh and then we do have vigilance on our stuff uh but i don't think it's correct to attack in honestly now we do have indestructible up on this so if they attack in we just block doesn't really matter does not matter that's good though in this deck by the way yeah. You got it. Oof, not good. Uh, we do need to draw something not... <laughs> I'm going to just use this here. Pull out a land. Play this down. Um, and we just pass. Unfortunately, there's not a ton we can do. We're just going to have to keep sitting on this. Um, until we draw something really be much bigger, we can't do much. Huh. That is interesting. I don't even... I did not even know that card existed. I'm assuming that's like a Planeswalker deck card, because that's hilarious. But yeah, I mean, it works. For sure. Uh, yep. Are they attacking? They shouldn't. I was going to say... They were really considering it there. Uh, huh. Let's do this. Just cause. Um, gain a little bit of life as well here. Um, I don't know that we can... We just can't do very much, unfortunately. We're not really getting there. An icon would have been great, um, just because we could have then obviously gotten in for a little bit, but I think we just are going to lose here. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think we just lose. We're going to give this indestructible for obvious reasons. Um, and these all have to block here, which means they get through for enough. Should have gained another 3 there. Let's see, 9, 14, 15. Yeah, we actually could have lived. That was a bit of a mistake on my end. Um, yep. We could have had two life left. What an odd deck. I have not seen some of those cards before. That is interesting. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's jump into game three. Let's see how we do. Hopefully, we will have a little better luck. Uh, unfortunately, we're just not getting there this time. That's fine. Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying these gameplay videos. We've been trying to pump them out for you guys. Uh, also, 
I just want to take a moment uh, to, I, I do this every once in a while, but I think it's really important to, um, we, we really do have a fantastic community in our Discord. Um, we've got a great group of people there. They have come together on numerous occasions, but, uh, and I'm not going to talk necessarily about any specific ones, but I just want to say very recently that our community came together in a very nice way for a member of our community. And I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you who are in our Discord for for doing that and helping in such a, a hopefully very nice way and very impactful way. Um, I, I think it's important as a community that we stay positive and that we stay kind of together uh, for, I know this sounds really cheesy, but like that's so important in my opinion um, that it was really, really nice to see that in action because um, it, it really did just show. Um, and so I wanted to specifically say thank you to all of you for, for making that happen. I thought that was really, really awesome. Um, and again, if anybody wants to join the community, you certainly can. There's, there's um, you know, it's, it's open to everybody. Anybody and everybody is welcome. Uh, so please feel free to join. Uh, the link is down below. So if you would like to jump in, you can. Um, so just a heads up. Uh, I don't think we attack here. We're against an aggro deck. Let's st let's just hold back. I'm assuming this is Winota, maybe. Um, just based on the like human non-human ratio kind of thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. This is a really fun and interesting thing. Um. What do we need? Let's just get another green source here. It's probably the thing we needed the least, but that's okay. Let's do that. Uh, and we'll pass. Uh, I think this is the correct play. Again, they're on a go-wide strategy, it looks like. So let's let's just get more creatures down if we can. Ajani's good, but I don't think we needed it here. This is such an interesting deck. Um, we, are, we have been against some interesting decks today, that's for sure. Uh, do we have anything in our graveyard? Not really. Get a blue source here. Um, let's get a Johnny going. I think that's worth it now. Uh, we'll plus gain up some life. All right, and let's actually attack in. This has vigilance. If they want to block it and like go ham, that's fine. And if not, that's fine too. And that's actually perfect. That just means. You know, we got through one of their defenses here, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Perfectly happy with that. Yep. Uh, let's see. Whenever a non-human creature you control attacks. So non-human, 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 non-human. Well, we just gonna pass. I could tap down something. Really don't think there's a need to. <laughs> Um, they get so many triggers, it's going to be ridiculous. Probably could have tapped down that, I guess, but that would have been better. Nice. That's a cool little thing. Oh, they missed. I don't know how many times they've missed so far. I don't think, but like, once or twice. Also, just can't see the cards. <laughs> okay. That's good. Also good. Wow. Okay. Um, well. Gonna kill Winota. Gonna kill this, I think. Um, chances are we're pretty dead here. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So, yeah, we're definitely going to die. So we need to block some big stuff. Well, Winota is big stuff. Um, I think we just die here. Oh, that was bad blocking, actually. Yeah, that was bad blocking. Um, wow. Wow. Wow, that sucks. Uh, we have not done well with this deck, I'm just going to go ahead and say. Um, I mean, there's nothing we can do, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and concede. Man, 
0 and 3 with cats. Uh, this is an interesting cat deck. I'm th I think I'm seeing a bit of a pattern, but we'll talk more about that after video two, obviously. Um, we always try and summarize the deck at that point, so I'm sure we'll take the time to do that. Um, this is interesting, though. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, let's uh, let's jump into video two in just a few minutes. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and make sure, again, to please join our Discord. We've really had a great group of people there. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate because I know not all communities kind of turn out that way. Um, but very, very proud of our Discord server and the group that we have. Um, it's it's something special, to say the least. So thank you to everybody there. Please make sure to join. Uh, and again, please check out our Patreon as well. We've got a lot of new stuff going on there. Uh, so I hope you're all enjoying that. Um, and also, just to clarify something on the Patreon stuff, somebody was asking... Um, we, we have on our website, uh, some of the proxies are marked as available and some of them are not yet available. Um, all that means is we have not yet printed them or we are out of stock of something. Um, I think we're only currently out of stock of like maybe one or two. But uh, the, the, the point of that is that um, our patrons themselves get to vote on which proxies come up for the next month. And we print four new ones every month. They get to vote on three and then we actually get to kind of throw in our own as well. So that's the mystery proxy. So... Uh, if you if you're in that uh, or if you're already in Patreon, please go vote. We've got our first round of voting up for this uh, ne next month uh, already up. We'll have more up very very soon. But that's how those cards get printed. It's not we create the proxies all the time, but that doesn't mean we're printing them. Uh, it is expensive to print them, and so we do try and you know sparse it out enough that it makes sense for us. So uh, that's why some of them are marked not yet available. If you're really wanting to see one available, then you know, join our Patreon, start voting, do your thing, uh, or just um, really say like in our in our uh, Discord, it's a great thing to say like, hey, just really interested in seeing this proxy printed. If you uh, if you don't mind, throw this up on for vote uh, for the next one or something like that. That'd be helpful. But again, that that's only on Patreon stuff. So we do want our patrons to be the ones to have the final say. So regardless, I do appreciate everybody's support there. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon for part two uh, with Bant Cats.